Welcome and thank you for joining us for the 2020 Grand Island Senior High Academic Honors Night. We will open tonight's presentation with the Star Spangled Banner sung by Grand Island Senior High Senior, senior Haiti Santos. Please rise for the national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave for the land of the free and the Now we'll hear from Dr. Tawana Grover, Grand Island Public Schools Superintendent. Thank you to the Grand Island Public Schools Foundation, partners, and founders for recognizing that even during our current situation, we will not let these circumstances overshadow our students' accomplishments. While we are without a doubt living in extraordinary times, honorees, it is your extraordinary excellence that is on display tonight. We are thrilled to honor our top scholars as the tradition of excellence still rises in Grand Island and we are indeed pushing on. Students, you were born with a special gift that in many ways is yet to be totally defined. Your journey may have seen winding turns and some uncertainties but you have proven nothing can stop you. That's right, you did it. Not only did you make it, but you made it to the top. You have proven that, to, that the road to your dreams is paved with relentless pursuit of achievement. Class, you give us hope as we glean from your willpower and the magic in your mindset. You have consciously chosen courage over confusion, gratitude over regret, and resilience over defeat. Thank you to our aristocrats for being our story of perseverance and exemplifying the persistence that is required to prevail. Congratulations. On behalf of our Grand Island Public Schools Board of Education, our administration and staff members. We are extremely proud of each and every one of you. Wherever your path may lead you, always remember that as an Islander, you are, yep, prepared to make positive contributions to society and thrive in an ever-changing world. Thank you, Dr. Grover. The Grand Island Public Schools Foundation is your foundation. We invest in the students of Grand Island Public Schools from pre-kindergarten through 12th grade. And for many of our students, we actually will invest in you beyond the walls of Grand Island Senior High. I am always amazed at the talent we celebrate each year at this academic honors night. This spring of 2020, it seems like nearly everything in our lives has been put on pause but we are not going to hit the pause button on scholarships. 
So 2020 is the 31st year that the Grand Island Public Schools Foundation has offered academic aristocrat scholarships to the highest achieving graduating seniors at Grand, Grand Island Senior High. These scholarships are offered to students who have submitted our online scholarship application and are ranked summa cum laude or magna cum laude. Some of the aristocrat scholarships have interest or accomplishment based criteria, while others are general in nature. Though the foundation will offer over $530,000 to the class of 2020 from Grand Island Senior High, the Academic Aristocrat Scholarship Program has an identity all its own because it's based solely on the dedication and hard work of Grand Island Senior High's exceptional students. What a great idea that was to start a program that gives credit to students who have worked hard throughout high school. But just to be clear, I cannot take credit for that idea. Uh, former Administrator Marv Maurer saw a need to ensure that our best and brightest were recognized with scholarships. Through personal tragedy in his own life, he devised an incredible legacy to his late wife, Dorothy. By 1989, Marv started the first ever Dorothy N. Maurer Academic Aristocrat Award. He then went on to gather funds from families and businesses to build up a program to give these scholarships. In fact, Marv Maurer is still giving back. He is responsible for the honors t-shirts that our students received today. Thank you, Marv. The Academic Aristocrat Fund has grown over time to this year include 45 named scholarships given by families or individuals and a general fund, which is su supplemented by the teachers and staff of the Grand Island Public Schools through their personal gifts to the annual all staff fundraising campaign. Tonight, more than $45,000 will be awarded from this program to these honor students in the class of 2020. The scholarships range from $500 to $1,600. So class of 2020 honor students, for each of you who submitted your online application, your academic aristocrat scholarship will be at least $500. And I wanna thank our team of foundation board members, staff and GISH counselors for delivering packages to student doorsteps today. These packets had the scholarships in them as well as some other goodies. As mentioned, this program is the direct result of philanthropy. That is independent donors investing in the future of our students. So what does it take to start a scholarship fund? Why do people who may not even know you want to invest in you? Well, every scholarship has a story. We tell some of these stories in our scholarship guide and on our website, and I trust that you'll read several of them. Scholarships are legacy funds that immortalize a treasured family member or a friend. Scholarships are a way for people to pass on their value system to future generations. And here's the most important part. Scholarships have been given by people from all walks of life, rich, poor, athletic, musical, artistic, you name it. You don't have to be a millionaire to give. You need only the desire to leave your footprint, to share your values. So class of 2020, though it seems like someone hit the pause button on your life, please don't forget to reflect on your accomplishments, celebrate your achievements and cherish your moments. Your class will no doubt be the most resilient and best yet because of this pause button. In the Islander tradition, we have graduated many successful people. We have graduated professionals with passion, aviators, authors, rocket scientists, artists, philanthropists, brain surgeons, each putting their efforts into making life better for humanity. But it has been over a hundred years since we graduated a class during a pandemic. That is an incredible part of your story. What will you do with it? Whatever you do, whatever your story becomes, I hope that you do it well and with passion. And just like the generations of Islanders that have come before you, I hope that you will remember where you came from. After this pause, take time to pause. Remember to give back. Remember to share your story. Share your legacy by investing in others. You will because you're an Islander. On behalf of the Grand Island Public Schools Foundation, I wish you the best as you move on to what is next. 
And next up, I we will hear uh, from our corporate sponsor this evening, Home Federal Bank. Um, Home Federal has long been a partner of the Grand Isle Public Schools, and they have graciously underwritten the dessert that was delivered to student doorsteps this afternoon. Thank you, Home Federal Bank. Good evening, everyone. My name is Steve Kunzman, and I'm President and CEO of Home Federal Bank. First off, I'd like to congratulate each of you for your uh, accomplishments to being in the top 15% of your graduating class of 2020 in Grand Island Senior High. Home Federal is proud to be able to sponsor tonight's uh, activities and, and we're proud of all of you. One of the things that I, I'd like to visit with you tonight about or at least share with you tonight about is I hope at some point you have a desire to move back to Grand Island. Uh, Grand Island is a great community. Uh, I'm sure you've experienced uh, many wonderful times in the community and you've been successful in the community. Uh, the other thing I'd like to share with you tonight is, is leadership. You know, these are strange times indeed, as we are experiencing because we're coming to you uh, via video instead of in person. And we wish we could be there in person, as I'm sure all of you do. But as we've gone through this, I hope you've taken note of the leaders that have stepped forward in our community, in our state, and in our country, and actually worldwide, that have tried to get us through this perplexing corona, uh, coronavirus. Um, and as you, as you move on with your careers and you move on into school and, and whatever your endeavors are going to be, keep leadership in mind. Either support uh, good leaders or become a good leader yourself. I'm sure each of you uh, have experienced leadership. Uh, that's obvious that you've experienced leadership in the classroom by your class rank, but you've probably also uh, been leaders on the field, in your organizations, in your churches, or even among your friends. Keep that up. The world needs good leaders. Uh, so does Grand Island. So as I mentioned, please please consider moving back to Grand Island. We need young, young bright folks to move back to the community to help us grow and, and prosper. Uh, so with that, um, the one activity that it is also my pleasure to do is we get to offer a couple of scholarships and I get to announce our scholarship winners tonight. So without further ado, our scholarship winners are McKenna Marsh and Ashton Shitos. Congratulations, ladies. Uh, good luck to you and your futures. Uh, I hope that uh, you're enjoying this evening one way or the other, whether it's around your kitchen table or, or uh, wherever that might be. Um, when, when things get back to normal, and believe me, things will get back to normal, hopefully I'll be able to meet you and, and shake your hands and congratulate you all in person. Good luck to everyone, uh, and stay safe, and thank you. It is my great pleasure to introduce the academic honor students for the class of 2020. Personally, I am incredibly grateful for having had the opportunity to work with these students in different capacities over the course of four years. I know I speak for all of the educators in our grade school, and our amazing school district when I say, we are so proud of your successes. These honor students have earned the academic achievements and test scores to rank them as some of the top students in Nebraska and across our nation. Several, several honor students have been admitted to some of the most prestigious colleges in the United States. There are 66 well-deserving students who will graduate with honors and receive the honor medallion. Of these 66 students, 26 of them have earned the highest distinction of summa cum laude and will receive the white stoles for our graduation ceremony. I believe all of these honor students will impress you as Mr. Sheard summarizes their accomplishments this evening. But before that, we would like to recognize the parents and guardians of these accomplished young men and women. We are so grateful for your superior parenting skills, your nurturing care, your engaged support of our school, school activities, and simply for sending us your best every day. We would also like to recognize the Grand Island Public Schools Foundation for their contributions 
to this great event and their unending support for student success every day. Thank you. Lastly, please help me recognize the current and or former Grand Island Public Schools staff, teachers, counselors, administrators, and members of our Board of Education, as well as Superintendent Dr. Tawana Grover. Thank you for your dedication to student learning. Now let's celebrate and learn more about our honored students from Mr. Jack Shear. Thank you, Mr. Gilbertson. Uh, before we get on to recognizing these graduates, we again want to take a moment to thank another group of people. Usually at this event, the graduates themselves read these bios. It is my extreme honor to take that role this evening. However, each of these grads typically starts their speech by welcoming and introducing their family who are in attendance. I won't be reading all of the family names tonight. Grand Island Public Schools, however, the Grand Island Public School Board of Education and the Grand Island Public Schools Foundation Board would all like to thank and honor the families of these students. Your support throughout their educational journey is a big part of why they are being honored tonight. So from all of us to all of you, a heartfelt thank you. We're giving you a standing ovation right now. Now, on to the academic honor graduates. I'll be reading the bios these students wrote themselves. Samuel Aguilera Robeldo. Samuel's activities and honors include three-year letter winner in football, four-year academic letter winner, Nebraska College Preparatory Academy Scholar, Islander Football's 2019 Teammate of the Year. Samuel will attend college at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln and major in fisheries and wildlife. Diana Alvarado. Diana's activities include orchestra, key club, fine arts, and the exchange student program. Diana will attend college at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln and major in computer science, software engineering, and design. Jenna Bonshoff. Jenna's many activities and honors include a four-year show choir participant, four-year band member, four-year academic letter winner, three years in a wind ensemble. Jenna will attend college at the University of Nebraska at Kearney and major in pre-optometry and minor in healthcare management. Margaret Borland. Margaret's activities include being a four-year academic letter winner, a three-year band letter winner, member of Air Force JROTC, and teammates. Margaret will attend college at the University of Nebraska Kearney and major in elementary education K-6 and special education K-12. Aaron Brockmeyer. Aaron's activities and honors include show choir varsity for three years, including being a section leader, cross country, a one-year letter winner, a three-year academics letter winner, and she is the class of 2020 senior class vice president. Aaron will attend college at the University of Minnesota and major in cinema and media production. Ashton Chitzos. Ashton's activities include cross country, band, track, and quiz bowl. Ashton will attend college at the University of Nebraska Omaha and major in business administration. Georgia Clare. Georgia's activities and honors include academic letter winner and honor roll. Georgia will attend college at the University of Nebraska Kearney and major in mathematic education 612. Kelly Contreras. Kelly's activities include four-year varsity soccer letter winner, two-year varsity soccer captain, academic all-state, 
and four years on the honor roll. Kelly will attend college at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln and earn a Bachelor's of Science in Nursing. Maria Kadam Pacheco. Maria's activities and honors include band letter award winner, certified nursing assistant, academic letter recipient, and a member of HOSA. Maria will attend college at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, majoring in physiology with a minor in communications, and she will be in the pre-med path. Genevieve Shapleski. Genevieve's activities include 2016 through 2019 academic honor, honor roll, and she had a 4.2 GPA. She will attend college at the University of Wisconsin Stout and major in criminal justice. Ana de Orta. Anna's activities and honors include community youth council member, a volunteer at St. Mary's Catholic Church religious ed classes, a member of the Gish Show Choir for three years and the Gish Choir for four years, and an academic letter recipient for three years. Anna will attend college at the University of Nebraska Kearney and major in secondary education. Rodrigo Fajardo. Rodrigo's activities include NCPA scholar and a three-year academic letter winner. Rodrigo will attend college at the University of Nebraska at Lincoln and major in mechanical engineering. Kevin Fierro. Kevin's activities and honors include varsity wrestling letter winner, Skills USA Teamworks co-captain, the Scholastic Art and Writing Awards Gold Key winner, Nebraska College Preparatory Academy Scholar. Kevin will attend college at the University of Nebraska Lincoln and major in construction engineering with a minor in construction management. Alexander Francisco Gonzalez. Alexander's activities include three-year academic letter winner, Scholastic Art Award Gold Key recipient, two-time Scholastic Art Award Silver Key recipient, and was a peer tutor for the Newcomers Program. Alexander will attend college at the University of Nebraska at Kearney and major in nursing. Caleb Francel. Caleb's activities include four years on the honor roll, a three-year football letter winner, a three-year basketball letter winner, and academic All-State 2018-2019. Caleb will attend college at South Dakota State University and major in pre-chiropractic. Danielle Gasha. Danielle's activities and honors include Scholastic Art Award Gold Key Recipient, Key Club Vice President, four years academic letter winner, and four year honor roll student. Danielle will attend Stony Brook University and major in Marine Biology. Josh Grovner. Josh's activities and honors include three years of a varsity letter, varsity tennis letter winner, two varsity swimming letter winners, Nebraska Academic All-State, and Nebraska and National Honor Society. Excuse me. Josh will attend college at Doan and major in elementary education. Brandy Guerrero. Brandy's activities include being a four-year academic letter winner. She completed 27 college credits through CCC and Wayne State. She was on the honor roll for four years 
and had a 4.0 GPA for four years. Brandy will attend college at the University of Nebraska Kearney and major in education. Tori Hale. Tori's activities include four-year academic letter winner, four-year basketball letter winner, two-year volleyball letter winner, and a member of the Superintendent's Advisory Council. Tori will attend college at Bryan College of Health Sciences and gain her Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Samantha Hansen. Samantha's activities and honors include varsity golf, honor roll, and speech. Samantha will attend college at Hastings College and major in veterinarian medicine. Shelby Hees. Shelby's activities and honors include HOSA, future health professionals, vice president of competitive events for Nebraska, student council vice president, National Honor Society vice president, and a member of the Gish Show Choirs. Shelby is undecided where she will attend college, but she will major in pre-med molecular biology. Ronald Hernandez Lanza. Ronald's activities include an academic honor roll, band, fine arts, and an academic letter winner. Ronald will attend college at UNL and major in music education. Ginny Hernandez. Ginny's activities include three years of the Camarada Orchestra letter winner, AP Scholar with Honors, four-year academic letter winner, and a manager at work. Ginny will attend college at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln and major in BSN. Emma Hildebrand. Emma's activities include school, track, and volleyball. Emma will attend college at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln and major in pre-health. Mackenzie Hill. Mackenzie's activities and honors include softball, basketball, NCPA Academic All-State Award, and Health Occupation Students of America member. McKenzie will attend college at the University of Nebraska Kearney and major in exercise science, the minor in athletic training. Luke Hoos. Luke's activities include a letter winner in basketball, a confirmed member of First Presbyterian Church, is accepted into Teachers Scholar Academy program at UNK, and he's a teacher assistant at, Wall, at Westridge Middle School. Luke will attend college at the University of Nebraska at Kearney and major in mathematics education 712. Jake in the Bangsa. Jake's activities include two year NCPA academic all state award, four year academic letter winner, a senator and historian for Cornhusker Boys State, and two-year varsity boys tennis. Jake will attend college at Wayne State College and major in medical laboratory science. Grace Johnson. Grace's activities and honors include three-year letter winner in tennis, two-time NCPA Academic All-State Award in Volleyball, AP Scholar with Distinction, a Student Council Member, and National Honor Society President. Grace will attend college at Northwestern University and major in Neuroscience.
Wyatt Colas. Wyatt's activities and honors include varsity tennis, Camarada Orchestra, and an AP Scholar. Wyatt will attend college at Hastings College and major in business administration, music. Jacob Kosmicki. Jacob's activities include cross country, track, National Merit Finalist, AP Scholar with Distinction. Jacob will attend college at Northwestern University and major in economics. Madison Lane. Madison's activities and honors include a student representative to the GIPS Board of Education, student council president, AP scholar, and a four-time academic letter winner. Madison will attend college at the University of Nebraska at Omaha and major in chemistry. Blake Lighting. Blake's activities include football, basketball, baseball, is an academic letter winner. Blake will attend college at Southeast Community College and major in construction. Yuri Lopez. Yuri's activities include academic letter winner, member of the honor roll, and he ran track. Yuri will attend college at UNL and major in architecture. Rachel Mankin. Rachel's activities include cheerleading, and she's an academic letter winner. Rachel will attend college at Southeast Community College in Lincoln and major in nursing. McKenna Marsh. McKenna's activities and honors include cross country, four year letter winner, track and field, two year letter winner, three year academic letter winner, and a member of Youth Philanthropy Board. McKenna will attend college at Nebraska Westland and major in business pre law. Annaline McCoy. Annaline's activities include volleyball and track letter, orchestra letter, National Honor Society, and she's an academic letter winner. Annaline will attend college at the University of Concordia, Nebraska, and major in criminal justice. Ace McInnes. Ace's activities and honors include Highlander football, track, and Legion baseball. Ace will attend college at Nebraska Westland and major in sports management. Alyssa Meyer. Alyssa's activities include orchestra, choir, and drama. Alyssa will attend college at the University of Nebraska Omaha and major in veterinarian medicine. Alexander Miller. Alexander's activities and honors include two track and field letters, one cross country letter, three academic letters, and four years in the Air Force JROTC. Alexander will attend college at the Coast Guard Academy and major in cyber systems.
Elizabeth Miller. Elizabeth's activities include three-year academic letter recipient, three-year orchestra letter recipient, Nebraska College Preparatory Academy Scholar, and a member of the Community Youth Council. Elizabeth will attend college at the University of Nebraska at Lincoln and major in human development and family science. Vanessa Mosquito Ramirez. Vanessa's activities and honors include three-year academic letter recipient, orchestra varsity letter, color guard, and sustainability club. Vanessa will attend college at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln and double major in sociology and psychology. Carly Mullenix. Carly's activities include academics, band, track and field. Carly will attend college at Central Community College and major in nursing. Eric Wynn. Eric's activities include being a member of the Community Youth Council, He's a three-year band letter winner, a three-year academic letter winner, and a student council member. Eric will attend college at Creighton University and major in nursing. Natalia Ortega. Natalia's activities include the key club president, member of Youth Leadership Tomorrow, honor roll for four years, and she's the Youth Philanthropy Board founder. Natalia will attend college at Nebraska Westland University and major in nursing. Jacqueline Osborne. Jacqueline's activities and honors include Air Force JROTC, HOSA, and she's an AP scholar with honors. Jacqueline will attend college at Creighton University and major in biochemistry. Alec Paul. Alec's activities and honors include Air Force JROTC, and he's an Eagle Scout. Alec has joined the Army National Guard and leaves June 2nd for basic training at Fort Jackson. Karina Pedroza Sotelo. Karina's activities include the GISH yearbook editor. She's the chapter secretary of Health Occupation Students of America, marching band color guard, and she's a Nebraska College Preparatory Academy scholar. Karina will attend college at the University of Nebraska Lincoln and major in pre med biology. Caitlin Poole. Caitlin's activities and honors include four years in Gish Choir, four years of Show Choir, three years on Madrigals, and she's a three-year academic letter winner. Caitlin will attend college at the University of Nebraska at Lincoln and major in Business Administration Entrepreneurship. Anna Prokel. Anna's activities include Sweet Revelations Show Choir, and she's a certified nursing assistant. Anna will attend college at Wayne State College and major in psychology. Raul Ramirez Galindo. Raul's activities include NCPA ambassador, 
and an academic letter winner. Raul will attend college at UNL and major in secondary math education. Anna Rose. Anna's activities include two-year varsity basketball letter winner, four-year academic letter winner. Anna will attend college at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln and major in psychobiology. Brian Rustrian Rivas. Byron's activities include GISH Air Force JROTC, FBLA, and cross country and track. Byron will attend college at the University of Nebraska Lincoln and major in computer science. Edwin Salas. Edwin's activities include being on the honor roll and being a member of FBLA. Edwin will attend college at the University of Nebraska Lincoln and major in marketing. Haiti Santos. Haiti's activities include Air Force JROTC, orchestra, GISH soccer, and show choir. Haiti will attend college at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln and major in interior design. Kyle Sextro. Kyle's activities include academics, football, track, and National Honor Society. Kyle will attend college at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln and major in chemistry. Jaron Soto. Jaron's activities include football, being an academic letter winner, and National Honor Society. Jaron will attend college at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln and major in engineering. Keegan Sutton. Keegan's activities include being an academic letter winner, an AP scholar with honors, and was a student installment committee member for the Underground Art Gallery. Keegan will attend college at Central Texas College and major in architectural drafting. Elise Bali. Elise's activities include varsity show choir dance captain, varsity mock trial captain and four year letter winner, student director for the underground contemporary arts gallery. And she is the distinguished young woman of Nebraska for 2020. Elise will attend college at the University of Missouri, Columbia, that's Mizzou, and major in journalism. Alex Van Nata. Alex's activities include pre-calculus, ad algebra advanced, chemistry, and geometry. Alex will attend college at CCC Grand Island and major in architecture. Candelaria Vargas Pais. Candelaria's activities include three-year academic letter winner, one-year band letter winner, and she's a certified nursing assistant. 
Candelaria will attend college at CCC and major in nursing. Sierra Vogelweed. Sierra's activities include four-year academic letter recipient. She's the Islander newspaper editor, where she's been a member for the, of the staff for four years. She's the Grand Island Independent Next Voice columnist, and she's Nebraska's representative in the Washington Scholars Program. Sierra will attend college at the University of Nebraska Kearney and major in nursing. Stacy Wells. Stacy's activities include softball, track and field, National Honor Society, and Youth Leadership Tomorrow. Stacy will attend college at the University of Nebraska Lincoln and major in environmental studies. Cassandra Wig. Cassie's activities include mock trial, theater, show choir, and she is a senior class officer. Cassie will attend college at Hastings College and major in political science. Jaime Zamper Samaripa. Jaime's activities include academic letter winner, a Nebraska College Preparatory Academy member, and former ambassador. He's also an AP scholar with honors. Jaime will attend college at the University of Nebraska Lincoln and major in business administration. Hannah Zog. Hannah's activities include National Honor Society, the Honor Roll, and she's an academic letter winner. Hannah will attend college at CCC, and she is undecided in her major. Mr. Gilbertson, back to you. Thank you, Mr. Sheard. Wow, wasn't that amazing? not only to listen to the accomplishments, but to see those excellent senior photos. I never get tired of that. And I honestly wanna tell you, we can't tell you how much we miss all of these students. We certainly cherish the opportunity we've had this evening to celebrate with you and all families. We are in awe of these students and what they have accomplished and we are excited about their future and what their future plans look like. Again, I speak for the entire Grand Island Senior High staff when I say we love our seniors. There is no doubt that the class of 2020 and all of our students that were recognized here tonight will never be forgotten. Mr. Sheard. All right, this concludes the 2020 Grand Island Senior High Academic Honors Night presentation. On behalf of the Grand Island Board of Education, and the Grand Island Public Schools Foundation Board, we would like to thank the many donors who have invested in our students over the years. We'd also like to thank our corporate sponsor this evening, Home Federal Bank. And most importantly, we would like to thank our honor students and their families who have earned this achievement. Congratulations from all of us in Grand Island Public Schools, class of 2020, we absolutely love you. Congratulations and good night.